and we're back for another air fryer video and i promise you guys we're going to get it right today we have a pound of shrimp this was some raw shrimp that we throw it out and devein we're going to make some sweet chili bacon wrapped shrimp you don't need a lot of ingredients some bacon shrimp some seasonings for your shrimp and your sauce and if you don't have an air fryer guess what put them in the oven there's no excuses on this channel we're here to show you how to do it and you make it good and we're gonna go ahead and season this shrimp up we're gonna use a little bit of obey that's right you guys you know we love to season our foods even though we're gonna wrap that bacon around it you still gotta add some flavor underneath and then here is some blackened red fish magic this seafood sauce is good on pretty much everything and some garlic powder anytime you're making some seafood you know you're gonna catch us using some type of garlic let's go ahead and give your shrimp a nice good toast with those seasonings and just go ahead and slide your shrimp to the side because you don't need that right now just let it chill out and relax we're gonna go ahead and slice our bacon up now if you have a pair of kitchen shears Go ahead and pull those out. Look at this. Ooh, you've never had a pair of scissors that came apart before. Our shrimp is not that big. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this in two thirds. Depending on how big your shrimp are, you can either just use this whole strip of bacon or you can cut it in half. Now here's the more difficult part, the more technical part of things. Depending on how big your shrimp are, you know, you may have more problems or it may be easy for you. So we're going to go ahead and take one of these pieces of bacon and you want to make sure you wrap it tightly so it can fit all around the shrimp. But you're going to start at the tip and you're just going to wrap it just like you would anything else. And then once you get that first wrap done, make sure you hold your shrimp and that way you can wrap it tight. So that way when it go into the air fryer, it won't fall apart that's the most important key here is to wrap it tightly so it won't come apart now my shrimp aren't that big these are like the medium sized shrimp and i left the tails on some of them so that way when you pick it out the air fryer or pick it up to eat like a regular appetizer it will be easy to pick up just like your shrimp you got the smaller piece of the shrimp here and the thicker piece so start with your more smaller piece and then end with your thicker piece here we go wrap y'all know how to wrap things by now this is just like our bacon wrapped jalapenos you know if you want to show more of the shrimp you don't have to cover the whole piece of shrimp up if you want to cover the whole piece of shrimp up you can so depending on how big your shrimp are that'll let you know how big or small you need to cut your bacon slices all right so hopefully you know you guys are getting the hang of this and I'm just putting the shrimp into a bowl. And you see, we have this big old bowl of shrimp here. And we have the rest of this bacon. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. And then move on to the air fryer part. ready we're gonna go ahead and load the air fryer up now you want to do this in batches because you don't want to overcrowd your pan so that way the air circulation can you know get through them shrimp and crisp them up now the side that you ended the shrimp when you finish rolling it is the side that you need to put it in your air fryer so that way it won't curl up as you cook in the shrimp we're gonna go ahead and cook these on 350 starting out at 15 minutes and then at about seven minutes, we're going to go ahead and check it and flip it. Now I'm going to show you another tip. Because my shrimp are smaller and I want to stretch my bacon, the thicker pieces of bacon that I cut like this, I'm going to go ahead and cut it down the middle. And then it looks like this. So that way when you wrap it, it won't be so thick. 
That's why it's good to have a pair of scissors in the kitchen because you can improvise if you need to. Seven minutes in and this is what the shrimp is looking like. You can see that the bacon is still staying around the shrimp and we didn't have to add any oil because that bacon makes enough oil on its own. I'm gonna give it about two more minutes before I flip it because I wanna make sure that bacon is nice and crispy to make sure it don't break apart on that flip. Now when you flip them, you wanna kinda remember the way that you put them in there so that way you can just roll it over. Be gentle with these, you know, don't strong arm them alone. <laughs> Like I'm talking to y'all, like I'm talking to daddy. You know, he's so rough with stuff. But just going to flip it to the opposite side. We're going to go ahead and put it back in the air fryer for another five to six minutes. And they should be nice and crispy. We're going to go ahead and take the first batch out the air fryer. And I didn't add any grease to the pan. But you see how much that bacon added? That's why you don't need to add any grease when you make this dish. The bacon... It's going to do all the work. Ooh, these things are hot. I had to hide the shrimp from the family. Just had to sit these to the side because if it was up to them, these shrimp would be gone and we wouldn't be doing this video for you guys right now. Here is some sweet chili sauce. If you wanna do it this way, just make sure you get a big enough bowl because we just wanna drizzle this sauce right in this bowl. That way it won't be any mess and everything will be nice and coated. And then you just gonna take your bowl. You know how they do. And you're going to coat all of those shrimp in that sauce just like that. If you're not a pro at flipping, you better get to be a pro, all right? Just don't drop any out the bowl, all right? Anybody can do this part. It looks just as good as our bang bang shrimp that we made, our copycat recipe from Bonefish Grill. If you guys haven't tried that video, make sure you head up to the link right above. We're going to go ahead and show you how it looks plate it up or bowled up because the family is tired of waiting these shrimps are nothing to play with you hear me and then you always have to add a little bit of garnish on top so here's some parsley flakes but if you have some chives or some green onions just add those now here you go the air fryer bacon wrap sweet chili shrimp <laughs> come on Tom, come get one because he hovering over me right now get into it you guys now these are hot and ready and the family is about to eat them all so we'll see you guys back for the next video you never know what's coming up next see y'all later